The Book of Boba Fett is winding down, with the last episode remaining to tie up all those loose ends that have been formed during the season. The penultimate episode featured Pedro Pascal's Din Djarin, the pivotal character from The Mandalorian, as he traveled to Tatooine and encountered Ming-Na Wen's Fennec Shand, who wanted his help. Din told Fennec that he would assist Boba in the future war against the Pike Syndicate. Throughout the episode, Luke Skywalker and Grogu appeared in many scenes together as he attempted to teach him how to use his Force talents. In the Empire Strikes Back episode, Luke used the same techniques Yoda used to train him, such as jumping and establishing bodily balance. Since his introduction in the first episode of The Mandalorian, one of the most intriguing topics about Grogu has been his origin. Fans were told that, despite his little stature, he is 50 years old and many speculated whether he was a survivor of the Order 66 attacks on the Jedi Temple in Revenge of the Sith. During a flashback from the most recent episode, the Book of Boba Fett finally gives viewers a glimpse into his past. Luke could see Grogu was having trouble recalling where he came from in a scene from Chapter 6 of the Book of Boba Fett. Luke placed his hand on Grogu's forehead after asking him if he wanted to relive his past and he saw an important event from years ago. After that, Grogu's perspective of the inside of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant is revealed in a flashback, proving that he was a Jedi Order student during the prequel trilogy. Other Jedi were also present at the Temple, as were clone troopers from the 501st Legion during Anakin Skywalker's siege on the Temple during Order 66. Grogu's little stature offered him an edge in hiding, yet he had a clear view of the clones attacking the other Jedi. The other Jedi appeared to be older than most younglings, but it's unclear if their primary mission was to guard him. The clones easily dispatched the three Jedi and then moved further into the temple to complete their task of destroying everything. Grogu was rescued from the Jedi temple in a flashback that didn't show how he was rescued, but it did indicate that he was present throughout the galaxy-altering attack. This also shows that Grogu had some training prior to meeting the Mandalorian, which explains why he can move certain things and wield the Force on occasion. Now that everyone knows Grogu was officially at the Jedi Temple during Order 66, the obvious next question is who rescued Grogu as Anakin and the clones made careful to wipe out every Jedi they could find in Revenge of the Sith, including the Young Lynx, as seen in one of the franchise's darkest scenes to date. A fan's theory indicated that Barriss Alfi was the one who rescued Grogu. Barriss was the last seen in canon in Season 5 of the Clone Wars TV series, where she was arrested by the Jedi. She staged a raid on the Jedi Temple, claiming that the Jedi doctrines were incorrect. During the Order 66 scene in the Book of Boba Fett, a fan observed a crest on the wall that seemed to belong to Barriss. The crest represents Barriss's personal quarters, and the attack on the temple may have provided her with a way out of the Jedi's clutches. Anakin was at the peak of his power at that time. He was conceived through the Force and has the highest midichlorian count of any Jedi on record. His abilities were significantly better than those of any other Jedi his age, and he even outperformed Count Dooku and Mace Windu, two far more seasoned Force users. According to some theories, Anakin Skywalker had a soft place for Grogu, and because he resembled a newborn, Anakin allowed him to survive. It's also important remembering that Anakin was aware that his wife, Padme Amidala, was pregnant at the time of Order 66 attack. As a result, Anakin may easily have considered his own life and child when deciding to spare Grogu's life. It is also worth remembering that Anakin only turned to the dark side of the Force to spare Padme from death during childbirth. But these are all just speculations and we are sure that the question of who rescued Grogu from the temple after Order 66 attack will definitely be answered in the future. That's it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.